Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Now, today we have a question sent in by Dick. Dick's trying to add subtotals. So, he said subtotals at each change in account. Of course, he picked all the numeric fields, but he also chose the customer field, which initially isn't going to make any sense because it's a text field. Now, in past podcasts, I've talked about leaving that blank and using a cool trick to fill in that cell with the most recent value, but Dick needs to fill it in with the first value. So, let's take a look at these formulas here. It comes up as subtotal comma 9. And Dick had a cool trick. He said, hey, we're going to use edit replace and change every occurrence of subtotal 9 comma to choose 1 comma. Let's do a replace all. And initially, we have a problem that none of the formulas work. The choose function says, hey, go choose the first value from this list. And normally, you'd have to type E2 comma E3 comma E4 comma E5. But Dick put in a range and he discovered that if he would edit the formula and use control shift enter to change it to an array formula it works perfectly but he didn't want to have to go through and use control shift enter dozens and dozens and dozens of times and that's when he wrote to me well I said hey this is simple let's uh, grab the book VBA and macros for Microsoft Excel and uh, we could write a short little macro in this case a three line macro that will solve this problem so here's the macro. It says for each cell in selection, but not just the selection, we're going to use the special cells property and say we just want the visible cells. The formula array property is going to be equal to the formula. So we have a whole bunch of formulas there. They just need to be made in array formulas. And we can do that with this macro. Let's run the macro. And you can actually see back here the results. Sure enough, it went through and changed all of those formulas. Now this is a great trick for basically returning the first value from the subtotal group great idea. Uh, I want to thank Dick for sending it in. And with a few lines of macro code, we're able to make it work very easily. So, thanks to you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.